A crucial vote among House lawmakers today with the goal of raising the nation's debt limit. If they get it done, the U.S. will avoid defaulting on some of its debts, but that relief will not last long. Now, this has been a continuing story in Washington over the last week, and our congressional reporter, Stephanie Liebergen, has been there every single step of the way for us. So, Stephanie, good morning to you. What's expected uh, the outcome for today's vote? Good morning, Alex. Well, the House is coming back today from their recess specifically to pass the Senate passed version of the debt limit increase. Now, that is the bill that would raise the country's debt limit by $480 billion. Um, now, that's the amount of money that the Treasury Department says it needs to get through December 3rd. Now, on December 3rd, date might sound familiar to you. That's also the date where government funding is set to run out. So it really sets up a crucial day and puts a couple crucial deadlines really right together in early December. Um, now, the vote today in the House is not going to happen until later this evening. It's expected no earlier than 5 p.m. today. Now, what the House is going to do when they come back, they're also going to be discussing a couple other smaller bills. So the House is actually going expected to pass this debt limit increase kind of in an indirect way. The House will actually be voting on a rule that will set debate for three other bills that it will consider later. And then once it passes that rule, the debt limit increase will be considered passed. So House members actually won't be voting directly on it. It's a weird little quirk of the way that the House can uh, pass legislation, but ultimately, by the end of the day today, it should be done, which means we officially avert that debt limit crisis that the country was facing on October 18th. So, Stephanie, we merely kick the can down the road now to December 3rd, and it doesn't really solve the issue of the debt ceiling itself. So, what is the outlook for next month's potential debate? What's going to happen? Absolutely. That's going to be, you know, the debt limit is going to be continue to be a big talking point here on the Hill, as well as the federal budget, as well as the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Um, when it comes to the debt limit, um, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell actually sent a letter to President Biden saying that McConnell said that he was the one that stepped up to fill the leadership void to avoid the crisis this time around. But he made it abundantly clear in that letter he is not willing to step up and help Democrats again. He is insisting that Republicans will not help pass the debt limit and he really wants Democrats to pass this via reconciliation by a via that special procedure in the Senate again that's something Democrats have been hesitant and resistant to do however having this extra time having almost two months to deal with the debt limit increase it eliminates the time concern that many Democrats had in trying to use the reconciliation process um, so it'll really be on um, Senate Majority Leader Schumer's uh, shoulders to decide how exactly he needs to move this forward um, the longer he waits, the, you know, the longer we have to wait for questions and answers, the higher the probability that we're facing the same deadline again in early December. Mm -hmm. You talk about Schumer, McConnell, Pelosi. What about President Joe Biden? Is he taking a leadership role in all this? So uh, uh, as for the executive branch, it's Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, who we've been hearing from the most when it comes to the debt ceiling. She's really been you know, telling Congress this is something they need to deal with. This is, you know, not raising the debt ceiling really is not an option. And it shouldn't be something um, that the country, you know, shouldn't be something that Congress is usually using as a political bargaining chip. Now, as you know, as every time the debt ceiling comes up, reform and trying to eliminate this from becoming a problem again also comes up as well. So the, you know, debt limit reform issues that ways that Congress could eliminate this as a problem again and again and again. They could you know, give the power to raise the debt limit to the executive branch and give that power to the president, something that was done for a couple debt limit votes earlier um, around 2011 and through 2013. But when the president had the power to raise the debt limit, Congress had the power to disapprove of that. So there was still a, you know, a little bit of a power um, in Congress. You know, uh, lawmakers could vote to uh, tie the debt limit to inflation, inflation, or they could vote to eliminate the debt limit entirely. And that's actually something that Sec Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen supports. All right, Stephanie Liebergen, live for us on Capitol Hill. Thanks for that.